go to the tab to the left. We're gonna hit the plus button. We're on the vendor side of things. We're not gonna do a check. We're not gonna do an expense. We're gonna enter the bill. The bill we got is gonna be entered as a bill instead of paid with an expense or a check form. So the first one's gonna be Verizon. Now note that we had Verizon last time, but we paid it off with a check. Therefore, it's not automatically populating anything down below because we're using a different form. But if we were using a check form, it would probably populate down below. I'm gonna use the terms net 30. Remember that these terms aren't as useful on the bill side of thing because the person setting the terms is Verizon. So I'm gonna to have to enter the due date that's on the Verizon bill, not necessarily just depend on it being due in 30 days, of course. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna say it's on 02-28-23. Uh, so it sets the due date at 3.30. Again, I wanna make sure that I type the due date based on what's in the bill in practice so that I can sort by when the thing is due to make sure I pay on time. And then down below, we're gonna choose the account, which is gonna be telephone, I'm gonna say. Now we already changed the telephone accounts before, so I'm gonna be consistent now to what I did in the prior month to the extent that I can. So if I've already set something up, if I paid it in the prior month, now I want everything that's going to the same vendor, to the same account typically. And then the amount we're gonna say is gonna be 360. I'm just making that up. It's not gonna be billable because I'm not gonna tie it into an invoice. I've got no customer because we're not gonna make an invoice out of this one. What's this gonna do? Well, it's a bill. That means it's gonna increase the accounts payable and the other side's gonna to go to the expense account of the telephone. Note that you could buy inventory with a bill, but we're just putting it to an account category so we don't need inventory items. Let's go ahead and save it and close it. We could, of course, cancel, clear, make it reoccurring, save, save and close, or save a new, save and schedule. I'm gonna say save and close. Save it and close it, go into the balance sheet to look at what happened. I'm going to see what happened and sing it back to you. Why you don't sing it, please, please. Here's the bill. There's the bill. If I go into it, we're going to say there it is. That's what I'm going to say. And then we're going to go back on up back to the balance sheet. Take a take a look, take a trip to the to the uh, profit loss, the P to the L and in the telephone, that's what we did last month. That's what we did this month. Here's the total year to date so far as we've done. Now we can also have the sub ledger now for the accounts payable, kind of like the accounts receivable. Let's open that up, tab to the right, right click, duplicate, duplicate. And we're gonna go down to the reports on the left. And then I'm gonna open up the let's go to who you owe who owes you we're going to who you owe let's go to the ap aging uh let's go to the let's go to the vendor balance detail vendor balance detail let's do that one and then that looks good so now we've got fender the vendor and verizon for a total of three seven two zero that we owe is that what's tying out over here that we owe as of 3720 looks MUI B to the N, tab to the left. We can also check out internally on the expenses side of things. This is like the vendor center and look at our vendors. By the way, if you're in the business view, that's located in the uh, get paid and paid area. And then in the, and then in the vendors down below. So then we can check this out. Now it's not, you don't really need to sort as much by vendor when when you're paying like an expense or check form. But when you're dealing with the bills, now you can sort by these open bills up top. And there's the two vendors we have the open bill for. We could schedule a payment and so on and make a payment. You can also sort your bills by, if I go to the expenses, the bills tab here. And so it sorts your bills, unpaid bills is where our focus would often be. You can also go to the expenses up top to sort the bills that have not yet been paid. You can filter perhaps looking at a transaction by the expenses and possibly those uh, on the, on the uh, not expenses, we want bills. What are you doing? And then we're gonna say we want the open bills and apply it. There that is, by the way, on the business view, that's located in a little bit different place than you might expect. It's under the bookkeeping 
tab and then transactions up top and then it's under the expenses that's where that is on that view 